Hello dear viewers and welcome to the Z space. Today we're going to figure it out. What is the explanation of the observable universe? What is the difference between the universe and the observable universe? We explore three theories. An infinite universe, a finite universe without clear boundaries, and the theory of the multiverse. The first discovery of the oldest and most distant galaxies. And what the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered which will give you goosebumps and a lot of theories and disputes will arise. Let's imagine that we know that the number of stars in the universe exceeds the number of grains of sand on Earth. On average, 10,000 stars for each grain of sand. Moreover, there are at least 10 planets for each of these stars, which is not surprising, given the immensity of the observable universe stretching 93 billion light years. However, what may be less well known is that the observable universe is only a part of the entire cosmos. The full universe is estimated to be at least 250 times larger than what we can observe and spans a staggering 7 trillion light years. Now consider the intriguing idea that if the universe has existed indefinitely, which we are not sure is possible, it implies boundless space. Infinity implies infinite space. But the potential configurations of matter that make up everything in our universe, including ourselves, are finite. Therefore, if the universe exists indefinitely and matter eventually repeats its forms, it follows that somewhere in the vast cosmos, there is an identical copy of you engaged in the very activity that you are currently engaged in. What is at the farthest edge of the observable universe has long remained a mystery, for centuries causing admiration and speculation among scientists and enthusiasts. But the James Webb Space Telescope is ready to solve this cosmic mystery. Thanks to its powerful lenses penetrating into the depths of space, the telescope has recently made a revolutionary discovery about the boundaries of the observable universe. To understand what the observable universe is, it is necessary to realize that it includes everything that can be seen, measured, and studied from Earth or by our current cosmic instruments. It includes the stars, galaxies, and celestial bodies within our view. Although the full size and structure of the entire universe remains unknown, the diameter of the observable universe is estimated to be about 93 billion light years. This vast expanse, equivalent to about 546.84 billion trillion miles, or 878.58 billion trillion kilometers, underscores the staggering scale of our cosmic environment. The immense size of the universe can be attributed to its origins, as explained by the Big Bang Theory, which marks the birth of the universe about 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, driven by mysterious forces such as dark energy, the universe has been expanding, leading to the formation of stars, galaxies, and planets over countless years. Despite its vast size, much of the universe is mostly empty space. The vast distances become apparent when you consider that if our entire solar system were reduced to the size of a quarter, the nearest star would still be as far away as two football fields. The challenge of seeing the entire universe comes from two factors, the time it takes for light to travel through space and the constant expansion of the universe. The light from distant objects reveals their past states, and the expansion of the universe causes their light to redshift eventually putting some objects beyond our observational reach. The notion of the edge of the universe has intrigued scientists and thinkers throughout history, giving rise to various theories. Three notable theories propose that the universe is infinite, resembles a finite but borderless structure, or exists as one of many universes in a multiverse. One remarkable tool that is shedding light on these mysteries is the James Webb Space Telescope. This advanced telescope, capable of observing in the infrared spectrum, has recently uncovered unexpected revelations. A study published in Nature revealed six massive galaxies that exist 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, challenging previous ideas about early galaxy formation. Dubbed Universe Breakers, these galaxies are surprisingly mature, resembling our 13 billion year old Milky Way. The telescope's ability to detect infrared light allows it to reveal ancient objects, providing a glimpse into the early days of the universe. 
the discovery of galaxies less than 400 million years after the Big Bang, further disrupts previous models of galaxy formation. The unexpected findings, which exceeded scientists' expectations, point to the possibility of hidden supermassive black holes and suggest that the known mass of stars in the universe may be much greater than previously thought. In a separate discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope identified the oldest and most distant galaxies ever confirmed, dating back less than 400 million years after the Big Bang. Through meticulous spectroscopic observations, astronomers determined the distances of these galaxies by calculating their redshifts. The JADES program, using the telescope's capabilities, revealed nearly 100,000 distant galaxies, each billions of light years away. With unprecedented capabilities, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, exceeding expectations and reshaping our understanding of the vastness and evolution of the universe. This has allowed them to reveal the properties of the gas and stars within these galaxies and to obtain precise redshift values. These measurements allow astronomers to determine the intrinsic luminosity of galaxies and estimate their stellar populations. This comprehensive study of galaxy formation over time provides valuable insights even without direct knowledge of their early growth stages. Studying galaxies can be as complex as understanding human beings. The early generations of stars significantly influence the future of galaxies, much as our early experiences shape our lives. This is an extraordinary time in history when the transformative capabilities of the Webb Telescope are addressing numerous questions about galaxies. NASA's Deep Space Observatory Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, is revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos and revealing a wealth of new discoveries. Launched in December 2021 with an expected lifetime of two decades, Webb is on a cosmic journey to surpass the achievements of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Webb has captured the imagination of the scientific community and the public, sparking scientific excitement around the world. People around the world are eagerly processing the telescope's raw data, sharing its stunning images, and gaining new perspectives. After a flawless deployment process, Webb stunned us with its first images in mid-July, providing an unprecedented view of different aspects of our universe. Equipped with an advanced infrared telescope, Webb will allow us to study distant galaxies in remarkable detail and delve into the depths of the past. Within days of its launch in late June 2022, Webb's powerful instruments began revealing thousands of previously unknown galaxies, older and more distant than ever imagined. In addition, the telescope's capabilities allow scientists to collect a wealth of light from celestial objects such as exoplanets and newborn stars revealing their compositions and tracing their trajectories through space. This wealth of data is already revealing intricate details about the atmospheric composition of planets hundreds of light years from Earth, indicating their potential habitability. By analyzing faint traces of light from the universe's infancy, the James Webb Space Telescope may have identified the oldest black hole ever observed. This supermassive black hole, with a mass nine million times that of the Sun, resides at the center of a young galaxy that formed 570 million years after the birth of the universe. Webb's powerful cameras, capable of peering back into the earliest moments of the cosmos, are providing insights into the cosmic dawn when numerous black holes grew in size over the course of a billion years after the Big Bang. The origin and proliferation of these enigmatic cosmic entities remain mysteries that baffle astronomers. As scientists venture deeper into the cosmos, they are able to capture light from more distant sources, providing a glimpse into earlier stages of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, uses its mid-infrared instrument and near-infrared camera to scan the sky in search of black holes. Its built-in spectrographs then separate the light spectrum into different frequencies, allowing scientists to analyze the data. In the process, the scientists made a crucial discovery. The heated material surrounding a black hole emits faint traces of radiation across the universe. By studying these delicate glimmers from the universe's infancy, they detected an unexpected spike in the frequencies embedded in the light, providing valuable insights into the cosmic processes at play. The rapid emergence of black holes in our young cosmos remains a mystery. 
Scientists continued to search for much younger primordial black holes, thought to have formed immediately after the Big Bang or possibly even earlier. However, these elusive objects have yet to be discovered. Meanwhile, there are two main explanations for the abundance of black holes in the universe today. One possibility is that they are the remnants of massive stars that formed much more rapidly than the stars we observe today. Alternatively, it's proposed that dense clouds of gas suddenly collapsed to form these Mysterio singularities in space-time. A more likely scenario involves a population three star, a hypothetical class of stars that form at about 200 million years after the Big Bang, composed primarily of hydrogen and helium. Such a star would have exploded, leaving behind a black hole. Subsequently, the black hole would have grown in size by rapidly accreting matter at a rate beyond stability. Scientists are working with the team behind Miri to study the light from the distant galaxy, looking for more clues about the formation of the enigmatic black hole at its center. Scientists have also studied the early stages of the universe, observing the formation of a protocluster of seven interacting galaxies. This cluster, discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope, is the most distant galaxy cluster identified by researchers. Simulations suggest that it will eventually become one of the oldest and largest known clusters in the universe, with a mass nearly 100 times that of our Milky Way galaxy. While these galaxies were first discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope, it lacked the sensitivity to accurately measure the distances between them, despite their alignment along the same line of sight. These types of clusters are extremely unusual and difficult to find, according to scientists. While it's unlikely that the JWST will discover another unique system like this, the future Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, scheduled to launch in early 2027, will improve our ability to identify clusters in the early universe. Its wide field survey capabilities will exceed those of JWST by more than 100 times. Returning to the discoveries made by the JWST, Astronomers made groundbreaking exoplanet discoveries in the 1990s, thanks to this revolutionary telescope. We now know of more than 3,000 extrasolar planets, although only a dozen have been photographed directly. Most exoplanets are so distant that we can only observe them when they pass in front of their host stars, causing a slight dimming of the light. But GUST has changed the game. Using the telescope's coronagraphs, Combined with its cameras, filters, and other equipment, scientists can directly observe exoplanets. In 2017, the Sphere Consortium made a significant discovery by using the Spectro-Polarimetric High Contrast Exoplanet Research Instrument to identify a planet called HIP 65426b. HIP 65426b is an exoplanet orbiting its host star, HIP 65426. In September 2022, it gained further attention as the first exoplanet to be directly observed by the James Webb Space Telescope. What makes this planet particularly intriguing is its unique characteristics, combined with the remarkable sensitivity of the James Webb Telescope, which makes it easier to observe. Unlike any other planet in our solar system, Hippie 65426 b is at a distance from its host star that is 100 times greater than the distance between our Sun and Earth. To give you some perspective, Pluto is only 40 times farther from the Sun than Earth is. Now imagine an exoplanet that's a colossal gas giant, about 12 times the size of Jupiter. Although the phantom galaxy is elusive in the night sky, its brilliance is still visible, especially when captured by Webb's infrared camera. When we look at the galaxy, known as M74, we're treated to a stunning view of its beautiful spiral shape and distribution of stars. The galaxy's luminous center gives rise to arms that extend outward. Hubble's optical view of this object shows off its splendor, also revealing structures resembling heat, emitting dust and gas fibers emanating from a bright center, all rendered in a striking electric blue. While in the web image, thanks to its infrared capabilities, we witness the illumination of star-forming regions scattered throughout the spiral arms. By combining images from the Hubble Space Telescope and Webb, Researchers have created a stunning composite image. This composite image highlights both the optical and infrared views of the galaxy, providing a more complete understanding. As part of an international project, these three images were combined into a movie, allowing astronomers to compare them side by side. 
They were able to identify regions where stars are forming and make precise calculations of the masses and ages of the star clusters. In addition, Webb's studies have provided valuable insights into the properties of tiny dust particles moving through the vast expanse of interstellar space. Webb also captured an image of a distant wolf rayet star with a unique diffraction pattern. The star, known as WR140, is surrounded by a ripple-like array of concentric rings, giving it an oddly boxy shape. Surprisingly, these distinct ring formations are not imaging artifacts but actual features of the star. These massive stars are reaching the end of their lives and have already ejected a significant amount of hydrogen into space. The interaction between WR140 and its small companion star shapes a cloud of dust into the shape of its neighbor, resulting in the peculiar shapes of the rings. In the constellation Virgo, the most studied exoplanet outside our solar system orbits a star. This planet, called WASP-39b, is a staggering 700 light-years from Earth. It's a searing gas giant, comparable in size to Saturn, orbiting its host star at an astonishingly close distance, about eight times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. Ultimately, Webb was designed to travel to the farthest reaches of the universe. Universe and researchers have confirmed its success in doing so.